for a lot of people, making the decision to come to rehab is a very daunting one, and it's probably the biggest decision somebody will ever make. But we also know it's probably one of the best decisions people can make. So when people arrive at Kenwood, they're greeted with a whole staff team who understand exactly how they feel and who are experts in their field. Kenwood has turned my life around. It's, it's saved my life in many ways. It's uh, a feeling of having a family again and people understand your addiction and that's uh, uh, the kindness and the love I get at Kenwood. It just, it's just helped me to, to put my past life behind me and to look to the, to the future again where I didn't see a future before I come to Kenwood. I couldn't visualise anything in my future. Uh, now I can and uh, I, thank, I thank the people at Kenwood for that. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic place. Kenwood Trust is this year celebrating 55 years of supporting people in recovery from substance misuse. And we understand that recovery is so much more than just simply putting down a substance. It's about a person rebuilding themselves and rebuilding their lives. On the main site here in Yording, we have two recovery projects. We have a 12-step project, which is a project based on the 12 steps of recovery, which were devised by Alcoholics Anonymous and have since been adopted by many fellowships like Narcotics Anonymous and Cocaine Anonymous. So residents in that project begin on step one and start to work their way with support as a group, as a community, through the steps, through the 12 steps. And then we also have our um, project in the main house which is based on the therapeutic model of recovery and that model looks at the, the whole person, the mental health, physical health, work, life and that program consists of psychotherapy, psychoeducation, objective setting. So to have the availability of, of both projects on one side is fantastic for us. One of the highlights of the programme are the therapeutic gardens and workshops where you can do woodwork, we have art therapy, pottery. I'm currently working in um, the therapeutic gardens and work workshops where we are standing now. I've been at Kenwood for eight years, I think. Um, started off as a bank worker, then worked my way through uh, being a recovery worker, done some group work and finally settled in therapeutic gardens and workshops. And see people change and see their work develop, see their, see their lives get back on track really, or the start, the seed is planted here and um, that's very worthwhile. And also, the residents, and I've been here for a long time, so I, haven't, I can't count up how many residents I've seen, but they are all, regardless of their past and how things have worked out, um, they are genuinely uh, creative and great people, and they, you know, they deserve the chance. So as well as our therapeutic team, uh, we have a team of very experienced key workers who are dedicated to working individually also with the residents to help them navigate through the programme and also navigate any outside issues that may need addressing, for example, if people have uh, outstanding court issues to help people with their benefits, their finances. So they are trained to, to help and support the residents alongside the therapeutic aspect of the programme. All our bedrooms are single use and uh, all have ensuite bathrooms. There's a lot of very big uh, spacious communal areas with TV lounges, a craft room and lots of open space for people to uh, congregate, spend time on their own, relax. Kenwood Trust has a very high completion rate. Uh, currently 85% of people that come to Kenwood complete their treatment and it's very nice. We have a recovery day each year in the summer where ex-residents come back and share their story of recovery to current residents and the staff.